uh, uh, Commissioner, we've now got a new uh, commission in place, a new uh, EPP-dominated parliament. Lisbon's through. Surely everything is, is ready to go for a, a new vision of Europe. Exactly. Uh, Lisbon Treaty is uh, giving us um, new possibilities and new chances and uh, also um, uh, he in it, 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 it encourages us uh, to create a new vision for Europe and uh, this uh, new vision should be um, to get at the end of the day more united Europe. So without any division between new and old member states, without any division between uh, the regions uh, uh, among uh, uh, our continent. So I think um, uh, we have the very important chance uh, right now to work together for a more united Europe, more competitive Europe and more, at the end, successful Europe. Well, it seems that uh, with uh, the way things are at the moment, that the passing of Lisbon means that Europe can stop looking inwards and can begin looking outwards a little bit more. Do you see that as being the next step? Yes, I hope so. Um, so as a, a commissioner designate uh, for international cooperation, uh, humanitarian aid and uh, also crisis response, I, I wish uh, to see uh, European Union as a global player, as a global actor, very successful, looking uh, more, as you mentioned, uh, outside and um, carrying out uh, many, many successful projects uh, outside the European Union. Uh, I think we have uh, the potential for that and uh, so uh, united we could could be more successful in this area also but being commissioner for uh, humanitarian aid and crisis relief that must be an incredible responsibility for you to bear what do you think you bring to this job Oh, it is uh, too early uh, now to um, explain into the details uh, so uh, more about the portfolio. I would prefer to tell you today, at uh, today's uh, Congress Day, that I am very happy, very uh, glad to be here and um, to try to really um, advocate uh, for Europe with idea, with vision for people outside the European Union. Okay, and you're also standing for Vice President of the EPP. What made you uh, go for that? Oh, it is important and a uh, very um, honourable task um, uh, and uh, I, I would like uh, to bring uh, the Bulgarian point of view into the EPP um, family. My party is uh, among the newest members uh, of our political family and um, I would like uh, to become um, a member of, uh, of uh, the presidency of EPP because of Bulgaria, because uh, I am um, convinced we have uh, much more potential than we have uh, shown at the moment. And do you think now that the, the, the younger member states are reaching a level of maturity where they can be involved more deeply in Europe? Yes, I am convinced that, uh, that we can uh, give more ideas, uh, maybe also our um, love uh, for freedom and um, liberty. Um, so during our uh, fight against the communist regime uh, is very important, also very important experience for the entire EPP family. And what are you hoping that the EPP will achieve in the next couple of years? I think um, the most important achievement should be to uh, go um, closer to the citizens of Europe, to uh, spread our ideas, um, to encourage people to vote for Europe, to vote for our family, for EPP family.